Let's go ahead and talk about a few more quality of life enhancements that exist in Mythic, specifically around what kind of tasks we see, sending some messages, and even being able to share specific tasks and output amongst operators. So again, we have Mythic Admin logged in, and we have Alice logged in. So to make this a bit easier to see which user we're talking about when, I'm going to go into Alice's settings and change the UI colors. By default, I went ahead and added in two different configurations for users, a dark config, which is what you start off with by default, and a light config. So we'll go ahead and switch Alice to light. So it's a bit easier to tell which operator we're looking at. Now, if we come back over here to Mythic Admin, and we want to start going through to maybe filter some tasks. So let's issue some more things on the host. One thing to note as you're going through and issuing tasks on a host, the different commands that are available to you are listed as you start typing. So we type S and we see right now that there are uh, multiple different commands with the letter S available in them. So we can then scroll through these and select the one we want, or as we start typing, the commands will get filtered down to the ones that just include the letters that are there. Now you notice that our last check-in has been quite a while, so let's go ahead and see if we can troubleshoot what's going on there. So if we look back over here at our C2 profiles, you may notice uh, I have been doing some uh, updates and stuff in the background, and now that we're up to 2.4, the web server has the mythic server has stopped and started since then so we'll go ahead and restart our http server right here so we'll kick that off again submit our task to the container up and going and now if we come back here to our active callbacks we'll see that we have indeed checked back in so super handy if you ever see that stuff is going on if you've been updating things make sure to check for that so go ahead and issue a bunch of information. We're seeing different commands come out here. Now let's say uh, if we do another you know, couple commands. I only want to filter down and see commands that you know, have, I only want to maybe want to see the shell commands. So if we come over here, next to submit task, there's actually this little filter button. So if we click it, we can use this to filter what tasks we, th we see in our view based on operator name, task, or command ranges. So we can look at all these, you can see kind of what's available. Uh, the operator one will match all operators that include the subset. So just like with doing tasking commands, if you just type sh in here, it'll include all operators whose name includes sh. So different stuff like that to be able to aggregate and only see specific operators um, commands. You can also only see specific ranges of tasks. So for example, here you see tasks two, three, four, and five. Well, maybe I only wanna see task four and above. And you can see the other two just hid right there. I can move it back to zero and they pop back. So you can use this to kind of collapse down and see just specific ranges of tasks. You can also limit it here and say, oh, I only wanna see these shell commands. So. We, again, just kind of matching what's there. We type sh. Now we're only looking at the shell commands that are there. Another thing you can do here, and all these are uh, additive on top of each other. So you can do specific operators and specific ranges and specific tasks to really kind of get a, a good idea of what it is you want to see. So we can even come over here and as Alice, go into our active callbacks. And Alice will run you know, shell who am I, but maybe they only want to see stuff from themselves, so Alice. So right now, bam, as it is, can't see anything that Mythic Admin has been doing. This can be helpful as you're going through and doing operations with multiple operators, but keep in mind that you are filtering out stuff that other operators might be doing on, on the host that could affect your own commands. So only use this as you need to so that you're still kind of aware of what's going on. If you want to have that kind of auxiliary view of everything just in case, you can also come up here and open up in a new window this live task feed. 
And so this will show you everything everybody is doing um, along with the current status, you know, who did it, the commands, any comments that they're doing. It allows you kind of have that up on the side, not necessarily interrupting your normal operating flow. So back into these different commands, say we're going through and we're you know, operating, we see something here that we were interested in. Let's open that up in a new window. So any of these tasks, the task number itself are clickable. So say we click this one, it opens up this task specifically in its own window that has just the task, again, with all the browser scripts and everything applied to it. We can see everything here. If you remember from the previous videos, we also added a highlight to everything that's Chrome related. So you can see these three here are blue. Again, all of this stuff is here. Well, now I wanna take this task specifically and kind of set it aside maybe for the report at the end of the operation, or maybe I wanna share it amongst operators. This URL is a handy one to just um, add in, paste in your private chat channels that you're using. Um, it doesn't reveal any information, it's just a task number, but it allows you to easily click it and go back directly to this view to see exactly what it is somebody is trying to reference. We can also take that and use it in our event feed. So this event feed here is a nice way to go through and kind of see what's going on in the back end. These messages from Mythic are kind of different things that are happening. You know, this user signed in, new callbacks, you know, new payloads created, kind of little background noise um, there if you're curious about it. And you can also send messages throughout the operation. So you can say, hey everybody, you can even, if it's your message, you can modify it, everybody. Um, and so you can go through and see what's happening here. You can send the messages. It's helpful to go through and you can paste your links in there. Like, hey, everybody, you know, check out this task. You know what's going on here. And everybody else will be able to see it as well. So if we switch back over here to the Mythic admin user, we can also go to the event feed and see Alice saying, hey, everybody, Here's what's up. It's a helpful way to go through now as Mythic Admin, I can copy this and I can also go directly to that one and see exactly what's up and see everything that um, Alice is seeing as well. So it's a handy way to go through and have that sort of stuff going in between there. Uh, one thing you'll probably also notice is you can go through and here on the far right is a little toggle between sending normal messages, which is what Alice sent, and sending warning messages. So warning messages are specific messages that indicate something needs to happen. So maybe you say, oh no, we got caught. Check out the task list for task two, right? Just some sort of message. And you can see here, this already stands out a lot more than all the other messages of, hey, you know, something's wrong. We need to address this. You'll also notice that for every warning message that exists, there is a badge icon up here now next to the operator's name, and that goes for everybody in the operation. Alice now has that as well, and Alice now sees this message. So it's kind of a warning to everybody that's going on. This is something operators can send between each other. It's also something that Mythic will send to the operation as well in case something anomalous has happened. The most common occurrence of this is if you have your uh, C2 profile a little unrestricted, so maybe it's just port 80 and you're listening on the web, you'll get crazy extra scanning traffic through there. Well, since that profile is there and listening, that information will make it to Mythic and Mythic will try and process it as a, an agent message. It will fail, obviously. And so you'll get this kind of message here of, you know, something's going on, you need to address this and provide some sort of contextual information for it as well. So we can go ahead and show an example of what that looks like go ahead and do a curl of so we'll just do uh, I don't know some sort of curl message here just something to show something hitting the the browser we go through did some sort of curl now if we look here we can see hey you know Mythic got this weird, got some sort of message. It did a get request from here with this user agent string. So you know this was a curl attempt, uh, where it came from, different the actual message, all this sort of contextual information to give you an idea of 
what's going on. Um, this is a nice way instead of just flat out blocking things from maybe curl or um, download cradles or whatnot from different maybe defenders or other products trying to scan your infrastructure, instead of just flat out blocking it and not letting you know, this is a, a way to kind of bring that up to your attention and make sure that you recognize that stuff is happening in the back end. So you can always go through and resolve and it changes to a nice green so you're able to still see, you know, something was going on, something's happening. We need to make sure we're aware of this. And we can always resolve all these issues. If something does come back up to the forefront, you can always unresolve it and bring it back to everybody's attention. And if you notice, as I'm toggling this in that top right up here, we can see that the badge notifications are changing to accommodate all the ones that are unresolved. So we can resolve these and we have a little bit better grasp of what's going on in the operation. So it's kind of just a brief overview of how you can filter tasks so you don't have such a cluttered UI. You can send messages between everybody. You can share the tasks and a brief overview of this uh, alerting ability that you can hook into.